Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. A few of you wanted to see my nail care routine and more lemony macaron videos, so in today's video, I'll show you what I do to take care of my nails, plus unbox and show you how I've been using the lemony macaron loom gloss nail serum for the last couple of weeks. Just want to say really quickly, I'm not a professional by any means, and this is just what I do to take care of my nails. Loom Gloss normally retails for $18, but it's currently listed on their website for $15, and in the box you get a full-size Loom Gloss Black Jelly Nail Serum, a night mask that's shaped as a kitten and it's really cute, as well as some Gold Star face gems. Instead of putting them on my face, I'm going to put them on my nails instead, so stay tuned till the end of the video to watch that. And now onto the nail care routine. I'm going to just start by clipping all of my nails using this double-ended gold Revlon nail clipper. I generally use the straight side of the clipper, but I do use the curved side for my thumb, just because I don't really like my thumb to be super square. And now I'm going to file and shape my nails using this glass file from nailstuff.ca. This is the first glass nail file that I've ever used, and I have noticed that my nails break a lot less frequently than they did before. With the nail file, I'm just going to file down my nails so that they're nice and straight and smooth, and then I'm going to round out the corners. Personally, I don't like it when the corners of my nails are sharp, just because they break more easily, they catch on all my clothes, and they also scratch me, so I like to round them out a little bit. Next, I'm going to be applying the Loom Gloss Black Jelly Nail Serum, and according to the website, this is enriched with rare remineralizing black algae, antioxidant black acai berry, and luminous black caviar extract. And that all sounds really fancy, but it's basically magic in a bottle. There is a slight fragrance when you smell the product from the bottle, and I can't quite pinpoint what that fragrance is, but as soon as you apply it to your cuticles and nails, you can't really smell it anymore. You're meant to apply this to your nails and your cuticles before you go to bed and then it'll soak in overnight and just revitalize the look of your nails and your cuticles. But to be quite honest, I've been really bad at remembering to put this on before I go to bed. So what I've been doing is I've been keeping it in front of me on my desk and I just apply it to my nails and cuticles periodically throughout the day and rub it in and just let it soak in. It's not oily or sticky or anything so applying it throughout the day works for me. This is really the only thing I do to my cuticles because I'm way too scared to bring cuticle clippers anywhere near my nails. And lately I've been doing more nail art which means more acetone and I've also been washing my hands a lot more frequently so my nails and cuticles have been so dry and this has really helped my cuticles look healthier and more presentable. And this is what I'm working with after letting it soak in for a few minutes. And to give the rest of my hands some love, I'm going to use my favorite hand cream from L'Occitane, and this is the Shea Butter Dry Skin Hand Cream. I just apply a pea-sized amount of this hand cream to the back of my hand and then rub it in like any other hand cream. I've tried a bunch of different hand creams, but I always come back to this. It smells amazing and it doesn't feel greasy like other hand creams do. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of both my hands, and as you can see, my left hand, which is on the right side of the screen, looks a lot healthier, at least to me, and that's the one that I clipped, I filed, and I applied the Loon Gloss Nail Serum. As promised, I'm going to use those Gold Star Face Gems on my nails, and I'm going to start by applying two coats of Lumini Macarons Black Gel Polish called Licorice, curing in my LED lamp for 30 seconds after each coat. These Gold Star Face Gems are kind of like 3D stickers, so I think they'll work just fine for nail art. I used a pair of tweezers to lift the gems from the backing just because I thought it'd be easier to show you without my fingers blocking the way, but I do think it's easier to just pick these up and place them on your nails or on your face using your fingers. I just placed two or three stars on each of my nails and that's it. I didn't apply a top coat partly because I don't have a gel top coat that isn't contaminated with some kind of chrome powder, but the adhesive was pretty strong so I didn't really feel like I needed to anyways. I do have a few discount codes for nailstuff.ca where I got the glass file from, as well as the mini macaron so I'll leave those down in the description box below. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you leave me a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. 
I have another video coming out soon where I use Lemony Macaron gel polishes in some nail art, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, that's all for today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!